Well, I think more than ever before, people are buying into traditional foods. So, you know, we're seeing record performance of things like our King George Christmas pudding, uh, mince pies, uh, caviar, luxury foods like caviar. We've had a fantastic um, white truffle season, the Alba truffle, so extraordinary. And then, of course, our core hampers um, never been more popular. Uh, both sales here in the UK, online, and also sales in our overseas territories. And in terms of consumer taste, it's interesting you're talking about the more traditional things selling well. How are changing consumer tastes influencing your business? We've seen a rise in dietary intolerances and really preferences changing over the last few years. Well, we've made huge efforts in areas such as gluten-free. Uh, there's a huge appetite for more gluten-free braised products, vegan, vegan hampers, uh, vegan wine hampers being one of our best-selling lines this year. Um, so I think, you know, recognizing that there are changing tastes, but equally, I think people come to Fortnum's because they're looking for those classic traditional products. And when times are, you know, uncertain times, which I think it's fair to say we're in at the moment, people often turn to brands that they trust the most, they turn to products that are most familiar, and uh, that is a sort of sign of reassurance, really. Mm. And, and you mentioned that your overseas business is doing well, and I know back in November you reported very strong sales growth, in part boosted by your overseas business. How are you building up your brand outside the UK, given that you don't have the luxury of a flagship Piccadilly Circus <laughs> store to really drive that brand recognition? Well, what we are lucky with is our site in Piccadilly. You know, London is truly open. We are a global cap uh, capital, and I think despite what's going on with the Brexit debate, London will forever be this uh, this sort of mecca. So our, a lot of our global visitors come, they discover the Fortnum's brand in Piccadilly, and uh, and then when they discover that we have an outpost in South Korea or in North America, then uh, I think people are very familiar with who we are. I think one of the other key ways of talking about the brand is social media. Um, you know, never has it been more important to have great presence on all the different social media platforms. Now, of course, in places like China, with WeChat, you know, the, the, there's uh, new technologies that we need to constantly be aware of. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.